Tired of the rat race? The audiobook Look Poor, The Quiet Path to Prosperity reveals a counterintuitive path to true wealth. Discover how embracing modesty can lead to financial freedom and peace of mind. Learn how to achieve your dreams without sacrificing your values or happiness. Don't risk spending your life on a hamster wheel of stress and unfulfillment. This book is your guide to quiet, sustainable success in a world obsessed with appearances. Before we go on, I invite you to download the free bundle, which contains the ebook version of this book and an executive summary of all the chapters with the key takeaways. Studies show that engaging with content through multiple formats significantly enhances learning and retention. Click on the first link in the description to claim your free bundle now and maximize your learning potential. Now it's free, but it won't be for long, so make sure to grab it while you can. Chapter 1 The Hidden Key In a world obsessed with outward displays of wealth and success, the true path to prosperity often lies hidden in plain sight. As you embark on this journey through Look Poor, The Quiet Path to Prosperity, prepare to challenge everything you thought you knew about wealth, success, and financial freedom. The hidden key to lasting prosperity isn't found in flashy cars, designer clothes, or luxurious vacations. Instead, it's nestled in the quiet corners of modest living, strategic planning, and a shift in mindset that prioritizes long-term security over short-term gratification. Imagine walking down a bustling city street, surrounded by gleaming storefronts and people dressed in the latest fashions. You might assume that those who appear wealthy are truly prosperous. But appearances can be deceiving. Behind the facade of luxury often lies a mountain of debt, financial stress, and a constant pressure to maintain an image that may be far from reality. Now, picture a different scene. A person dressed in simple, comfortable clothes, driving an older but well-maintained car, living in a modest home. At first glance, you might not give them a second thought. But what if I told you that this unassuming individual has achieved true financial independence with a robust investment portfolio, multiple streams of passive income, and the freedom to live life on their own terms? This is the essence of the hidden key, the understanding that real wealth and prosperity are not about what you show to the world, but about the financial security and freedom you build for yourself. The concept of living modestly as a strategy for achieving quiet yet enduring prosperity is not new, but it has been overshadowed by the relentless pursuit of visible wealth in our consumer-driven society. This book aims to bring this powerful approach back into focus, offering you a roadmap to financial success that doesn't require keeping up with the Joneses or sacrificing your long-term goals for short-term gratification. Why is this approach so important? Because it sets the stage for a fundamental shift in how we perceive and pursue wealth. By challenging conventional beliefs about success and appearance, we open ourselves up to a world of possibilities that can lead to true financial independence and personal fulfillment. The hidden key unlocks doors to a life where financial decisions are made with clarity and purpose rather than being driven by societal pressures or fleeting desires. As you delve deeper into the chapters of this book, you'll gain a foundational understanding of how modest living can lead to financial security and freedom. You'll learn to identify personal financial habits that may be hindering your long-term prosperity and discover strategies to overcome them. This isn't about deprivation or living a life of austerity. It's about making intentional choices that align with your values and long-term goals. Over time, as you continue to apply the principles outlined in this book, you'll develop a sustainable lifestyle that supports ongoing financial growth and personal satisfaction. Imagine achieving greater peace of mind and reduced financial stress through strategic simplicity. This is not just a temporary fix or a quick path to riches, it's a lifelong approach that can transform your relationship with money and redefine what success means to you. The theory behind this approach is rooted in understanding the psychological and cultural pressures that drive people to display wealth and how these pressures can hinder long-term financial success. We live in a society that constantly bombards us with messages equating happiness and worth with material possessions and outward signs of affluence. 
Social media amplifies this effect, creating a never-ending cycle of comparison and desire for more. But what if we could break free from these pressures? What if we could redefine wealth, not by what we own or how we appear to others, but by the freedom and security we create for ourselves? This is the core idea that we'll explore throughout this book, that real wealth is not about outward appearances, but about lasting financial security and the freedom to live life on your own terms. To embark on this journey, you'll need to embrace a mindset shift from materialism to minimalism. This doesn't mean getting rid of everything you own or living like a hermit. Instead, it's about critically examining your relationship with material possessions and understanding what truly brings value to your life. It's about prioritizing experiences and relationships over things and finding contentment in simplicity rather than excess. Alongside this mindset shift, you'll learn to prioritize financial goals that align with your personal values and long-term security. This might mean re-evaluating your spending habits, creating a budget that reflects your true priorities, or exploring new investment strategies that support your long-term vision for financial independence. These steps are crucial, and they're presented in this order for a reason. The mindset shift comes first because without it, any changes you try to make to your financial habits are likely to be short-lived. By first addressing your beliefs and attitudes towards wealth and success, you create a solid foundation upon which to build lasting financial habits and strategies. Of course, this journey is not without its challenges. You may encounter resistance to changing deep-seated beliefs about wealth and success. Friends and family might question your choices or struggle to understand your new approach to living. There's also a risk of misinterpreting modest living as deprivation rather than a strategic choice. These are natural hurdles, and throughout this book, we'll explore ways to overcome them and stay committed to your path to prosperity. As we conclude this first chapter, I want you to consider the possibilities that lie ahead. Imagine a life where financial decisions are made with confidence and clarity, where your wealth grows steadily and sustainably, and where you have the freedom to pursue what truly matters to you. This is the promise of the hidden key, a quiet path to prosperity that leads to lasting financial security and personal fulfillment. In the chapters that follow, we'll delve deeper into specific strategies and techniques for implementing this approach in your own life. From simplifying your lifestyle to building robust emergency funds, from protecting your wealth against inflation to achieving true financial independence, each chapter will provide practical insights and actionable steps to guide you on your journey. As you turn the page to the next chapter, prepare to explore the uncluttered path, a strategy that will lay the foundation for your journey towards lasting prosperity. You'll discover how simplifying your life can create space for what truly matters, both financially and personally. The road ahead is clear, uncluttered, and full of potential. Are you ready to take the first step? Before we continue, make sure to subscribe to Grow to the Top and activate notifications to receive more self-improvement tips that will supercharge your growth. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. It really helps the channel grow. Thank you for your support. Chapter 2, Uncluttered Path As we step onto the uncluttered path, imagine standing at the edge of a dense forest. The way forward seems unclear, obscured by a tangle of branches and undergrowth. This forest represents our lives, often overgrown with possessions, commitments, and mental clutter that hinder our journey towards lasting prosperity. But what if there was a way to clear this path? to create a direct route to financial independence and personal fulfillment. The uncluttered path is not just about tidying up your living space or organizing your desk. It's a profound shift in how you approach life, your possessions, and your financial decisions. It's about creating space, not just physical space, but mental and emotional space too. This space becomes the foundation upon which you can build lasting prosperity. But why is this path so crucial for achieving financial independence? Think about the last time you felt overwhelmed by the sheer volume of stuff in your life, whether it was physical clutter, a packed schedule, 
or a mind racing with worries and to-do lists. In that state, how easy was it to make clear, rational decisions about your finances? How much energy did you have left to focus on your long-term financial goals? The truth is, when our lives are cluttered, our ability to make sound financial decisions becomes compromised. We're more likely to make impulsive purchases, overlook important financial planning, or simply feel too overwhelmed to tackle our financial goals. By simplifying our lives, we reduce stress, increase mental clarity, and remove distractions. This newfound clarity allows us to focus on what truly brings prosperity, and it might not be what you think. Consider for a moment what prosperity means to you. Is it a number in your bank account? A certain lifestyle? Or is it something less tangible, perhaps the freedom to spend your time as you choose, or the peace of mind that comes from financial security? As we journey down the uncluttered path, you may find your definition of prosperity shifting, becoming clearer and more aligned with your true values. The theory behind the uncluttered path is simple, yet profound. By decluttering your life, both physically and mentally, you create space for more meaningful goals and long-term financial stability. It's like clearing the underbrush in our forest analogy. Suddenly, you can see further ahead, plan your route more effectively, and move forward with greater ease. But how does this translate to financial benefits? A simplified life naturally leads to reduced expenses. When you're no longer acquiring unnecessary possessions or spending money on activities that don't truly align with your values, you'll find you have more resources to direct towards savings and investments. This shift enables more strategic financial planning and accelerates wealth accumulation. So, how can we apply this concept in practical terms? Let's start with the physical realm. Look around your living space. How many items do you own that you rarely use or don't truly need? Each of these items represents not just physical clutter, but a drain on your financial resources, both in the initial purchase and in the ongoing cost of storage and maintenance. Adopting a minimalist approach doesn't mean living in an empty room with a single chair. It's about being intentional with your possessions, keeping only what adds value to your life. This process can be liberating, freeing you from the constant cycle of acquisition and allowing you to redirect your resources towards what truly matters. Next, consider your expenses. Are there subscriptions you're paying for but rarely use? Luxuries that have become habits but don't bring real joy? By prioritizing spending on experiences and necessities over status symbols and fleeting pleasures, you align your financial outflow with your values and long-term goals. Creating a budget that reflects this simplified lifestyle is a powerful tool. But this isn't about restriction. It's about freedom. Freedom to allocate your resources intentionally, focusing on savings and investments that will fuel your journey to financial independence. Now, let's talk about mental clutter. In our hyper-connected world, our minds are often as cluttered as our physical spaces. Constant notifications, endless to-do lists, and the pressure to keep up with social media can leave us mentally exhausted and unable to focus on our financial goals. Practicing mindfulness can be a powerful antidote to this mental clutter. By learning to be present in the moment and to quiet the constant chatter in our minds, we create space for clarity and focused decision-making. This mental clarity is invaluable when it comes to making sound financial choices and staying committed to our long-term goals. As you embark on this journey of simplification, you might find it helpful to conduct a home audit. Go through each room, each drawer, each digital file, and ask yourself, does this add value to my life? Does it support my goals? If the answer is no, it might be time to let it go. This process can be challenging, but it's also incredibly freeing. Developing a monthly budget that prioritizes savings and essential spending is another crucial step. This budget should reflect your simplified lifestyle and your long-term financial goals. Remember, every dollar you save is a step closer to financial independence. As you progress along the uncluttered path, you'll likely start to notice some changes. Your life will become more organized, naturally supporting better financial habits. 
you might find yourself less tempted by impulse purchases or status symbols and more focused on experiences and investments that align with your values. With reduced living costs, you'll have the opportunity to increase your savings and investments. This acceleration in wealth accumulation can be dramatic, bringing your financial goals closer than you might have thought possible. But the best outcome of the uncluttered path goes beyond numbers in a bank account. It's a peaceful and content life aligned with your long-term financial goals. It's the feeling of waking up each day knowing that your life and your finances are working in harmony, laying the groundwork for true prosperity. Of course, this journey is not without its challenges. There's a risk of oversimplification, which could lead to feelings of deprivation if not balanced well. The key is to remember that this isn't about depriving yourself, but about making room for what truly matters. Allow yourself occasional indulgences within your budget, ensuring that your simplified lifestyle remains sustainable and enjoyable. You might also face misunderstanding from friends or family who don't share your new values. They might question your choices or feel uncomfortable with your changing lifestyle. Communication is crucial here. Share your goals and the reasons behind your choices. You might even inspire others to join you on this journey towards financial freedom and personal fulfillment. As we conclude this chapter, take a moment to envision the path ahead. It's clearer now, free from the underbrush of unnecessary possessions and expenses. You can see further into the distance, your financial goals more visible and attainable than ever before. But the journey doesn't end here. As you step forward on this uncluttered path, you'll need to maintain your progress and protect yourself from the inevitable storms that life can bring. In the next chapter, we'll explore a crucial strategy for ensuring your journey remains steady and sustainable. Are you ready to discover the secret of the slow burn? The path ahead holds mysteries that once unveiled will transform your approach to building lasting wealth. Chapter three, the slow burn. As we venture deeper into our journey towards financial independence, we encounter a concept that might seem counterintuitive at first glance. In a world that often celebrates quick wins and overnight successes, we're about to explore an approach that takes a different path. One that might not make headlines, but has the power to transform your financial future. Imagine you're embarking on a long distance race. You see other runners sprint ahead, their energy high and spirits soaring. You might feel tempted to match their pace to prove that you too can run that fast. But as you watch, you notice something interesting. Those sprinters, so full of vigor at the start, begin to slow down. Some stop altogether, gasping for breath, while others continue at a much reduced pace. Meanwhile, you maintain a steady, comfortable rhythm. It might not feel exciting or impressive at first, but as the race progresses, you find yourself passing those who started so strong. Your energy remains consistent, your breathing controlled. This is the essence of what we're about to explore, a strategy that prioritizes endurance over speed, sustainability over quick gains. But what does this racing analogy have to do with building wealth? More than you might think. Just as a marathon runner paces themselves for the long haul, so too must we approach our financial journey with a mindset of sustained effort and gradual progress. This is what we call the slow burn. The slow burn isn't about moving at a snail's pace or avoiding ambitious goals. Rather, it's about finding a sustainable rhythm that allows you to make consistent progress without burning out. It's a recognition that true financial independence isn't achieved overnight, but through a series of small, deliberate steps taken consistently over time. Why is this approach so crucial for achieving financial independence? The answer lies in the nature of long-term financial planning itself. Building wealth isn't just about making money, it's about making smart decisions consistently over an extended period. It's about developing habits and strategies that can withstand the test of time and the inevitable ups and downs of life. Financial burnout is a real and serious threat to your long-term prosperity. It can manifest in various ways, perhaps as a feeling of overwhelming stress when thinking about money or a sense of fatigue that leads to poor financial decisions. 
Maybe it shows up as a sudden splurge after months of strict budgeting or as a complete avoidance of financial matters altogether. Whatever form it takes, burnout can derail even the best laid financial plans, leading to instability and setbacks that can take years to recover from. This is where the power of the slow burn comes into play. By adopting a slower, more deliberate pace, you create a buffer against burnout. You give yourself the space to make thoughtful decisions, to adjust your course as needed, and to maintain the energy and motivation necessary for long-term success. The theory behind the slow burn is grounded in the benefits of a modest lifestyle. When you're not constantly chasing a higher income to support an ever-expanding list of expenses, you reduce the pressure on yourself. This doesn't mean settling for less than you're worth or avoiding career advancement. Instead, it's about being intentional with how you use the resources you have and how you approach growth. By pacing yourself, you create the conditions for sustainable financial growth without sacrificing your well-being. This balance is crucial. After all, what good is financial independence if you're too exhausted or stressed to enjoy it? So, how can we apply this concept in practical terms? Let's start with goal setting. The key is to set achievable financial goals that align with your modest lifestyle. These goals should challenge you without overwhelming you. They should inspire action without inducing anxiety. For example, instead of aiming to double your income in a year, a goal that might lead to burnout, you might set a goal to increase your savings rate by 5% over the next six months. This goal is specific, measurable, and achievable without requiring drastic lifestyle changes. Another crucial aspect of the slow burn is avoiding lifestyle inflation. As your income rises over time, which it likely will if you're focused on your career and financial growth, there's a natural temptation to increase your spending proportionally. New car, bigger house, fancier vacations, these are the trappings of success that society often pushes us towards. But what if, instead of automatically increasing your spending as your income grows, you maintained your modest lifestyle and directed that extra money towards your financial goals? This approach allows you to accelerate your progress without increasing the pressure on yourself to earn more. Regular reassessment is another key component of the slow burn strategy. Your financial journey isn't a set it and forget it affair. Life changes, circumstances shift, and new opportunities arise. By regularly reviewing your financial strategies, you can ensure they remain sustainable and aligned with your goals. This ongoing process of reflection and adjustment helps prevent the kind of rigid thinking that can lead to burnout. Now, let's talk about some practical exercises to help you implement the slow burn in your own life. Creating a timeline for achieving your financial milestones can be a powerful tool. This isn't about setting hard deadlines for yourself, but rather about mapping out a realistic path towards your goals. This timeline gives you a visual representation of your journey, helping you maintain perspective when progress feels slow. Implementing a monthly review of your expenses is another valuable practice. This isn't about beating yourself up over every small purchase, but about identifying patterns and areas for improvement. Are there recurring expenses that no longer align with your priorities? Are there small changes you could make that would have a big impact over time? Stress reduction techniques are also an essential part of the slow burn toolkit. Remember, this approach is about sustainable progress, which means taking care of your mental and emotional well-being along the way. This could involve practices like meditation, regular exercise, or simply setting aside time for activities you enjoy. The key is to find ways to maintain balance and prevent financial concerns from overwhelming your life. As you implement these strategies, you'll likely start to notice some changes. You might find yourself developing financial habits that feel natural and sustainable rather than forced or stressful. This is a good outcome. It means you're building a foundation for long-term financial health. With consistent application of the slow burn approach, you may experience an excellent outcome, steady progress towards your financial goals without the strain of overextending yourself. You're moving forward, but at a pace that feels manageable and even enjoyable.
The best outcome of the slow burn is a state of long-term financial health coupled with personal satisfaction. You're not just building wealth, you're creating a life that feels balanced and fulfilling. Your progress towards prosperity is steady and sustainable, giving you confidence in your financial future without sacrificing your present well-being. Of course, no strategy is without its potential pitfalls. There's a risk of underestimating factors like inflation or unexpected emergencies if your financial goals are too conservative. The fix for this is to regularly review and adjust your financial plan, ensuring it remains robust enough to handle life's uncertainties. Another potential issue is a loss of motivation if progress feels too slow. In a world of instant gratification, the slow burn can sometimes feel, well, slow. The key here is to celebrate small victories along the way and to stay focused on the long-term benefits of your approach. Remember, you're in this for the long haul, and slow, steady progress adds up to significant results over time. As we conclude this chapter, take a moment to reflect on the power of the slow burn. You're not just learning about financial strategies, you're reshaping your entire approach to building wealth. You're creating a sustainable path to prosperity that aligns with your values and protects your well-being. But as powerful as the slow burn is, it's not the only tool you'll need on your journey to financial independence. In fact, there's another crucial element we need to explore, one that can protect your progress and give you the confidence to stay the course, even when life throws unexpected challenges your way. Are you ready to discover the secret of the storm shelter? It's time to learn how to weather any financial storm and emerge stronger on the other side. Chapter 4, Storm Shelter Life, much like the weather, can be unpredictable. One moment, you're basking in the sunshine of financial stability, and the next, dark clouds gather on the horizon. It's in these moments of uncertainty that we realize the true value of preparation. Just as a seasoned sailor always keeps an eye on the sky, a wise financial navigator understands the importance of being ready for whatever squalls may come their way. But what does it mean to be truly prepared for life's financial storms? Is it about hoarding every penny, living in constant fear of what might go wrong? Or is there a more balanced approach, one that allows us to move forward with confidence while still maintaining a safety net? As we delve into this chapter, we'll explore a concept that's as crucial to your financial journey as a lighthouse is to a ship at sea. It's a strategy that doesn't just protect you from the occasional drizzle of unexpected expenses, but shields you from the tempests that can threaten to blow your financial plans off course. Imagine for a moment that you're building a house. You carefully select the materials, plan the layout, and envision the life you'll live within its walls. But what happens when the first storm hits? Without a solid foundation and a sturdy roof, all your hard work could be washed away in an instant. This is where our financial storm shelter comes into play. The storm shelter we're talking about isn't a physical structure, of course. It's a financial buffer, a cushion that stands between you and the harsh realities of unexpected financial challenges. But why is this shelter so crucial on your path to financial independence? Think about the journey we've been on so far. We've cleared the path, embraced simplicity, and learned the value of steady, sustainable progress. All of these strategies are powerful, but they share one vulnerability. They assume a certain level of stability in your financial life. But what happens when that stability is threatened? This is where the importance of our storm shelter becomes clear. An emergency fund, which is the heart of our shelter, is essential for shielding your finances from unexpected challenges. It ensures that you can stay on the path to prosperity even when the financial weather turns rough. The theory behind the storm shelter is both simple and profound. A well-maintained emergency fund prevents the need for high interest loans or the premature liquidation of investments during crises. In other words, it safeguards your long-term financial plans by providing a buffer against short-term challenges. But the benefits of a storm shelter go beyond mere protection. It also provides you with the freedom to take calculated risks without jeopardizing your financial stability. Think about it. 
How much more confidently could you pursue a new career opportunity or start a business venture if you knew you had a solid financial backup plan? So, how do we go about building this storm shelter? The process is straightforward, but it requires discipline and consistency. The general rule of thumb is to aim for saving three to six months of living expenses in a readily accessible account. This might sound like a daunting task, especially if you're just starting out on your financial journey. But remember, we're not looking for overnight success here. This is about steady, sustainable progress. The key is to make regular contributions to your emergency fund as part of your financial routine. Treat it like any other essential expense. It's not something you do if you have money left over at the end of the month, but a priority that comes right after your basic living costs. One effective strategy is to set up automatic transfers to your emergency fund. This way, you're building your storm shelter without having to think about it every month. It becomes a habit, a natural part of your financial life. But building the shelter is only part of the equation. Maintaining it is equally important. Life happens, and there may be times when you need to dip into your emergency fund. When this happens, Make it a priority to replenish the fund as soon as possible. This ensures that you maintain continuous protection against future storms. Now, let's talk about some practical exercises to help you implement and maintain your storm shelter. First, take some time to review and adjust your savings goal annually. Your living expenses may change over time and your emergency fund should reflect these changes. Maybe you've taken on a mortgage or perhaps you've paid off a significant debt. These life changes should be reflected in the size of your storm shelter. Another valuable exercise is to simulate a financial emergency. This might sound a bit strange. After all, who wants to imagine worst case scenarios? But this mental exercise can be incredibly enlightening. It helps you identify potential weak spots in your financial plan and gives you the opportunity to address them before a real emergency strikes. As you implement these strategies, you'll likely start to notice some changes in your financial life. The most immediate benefit is often a sense of peace of mind. Knowing that you're prepared for minor financial setbacks can significantly reduce your stress levels and allow you to focus on your long-term goals. With a well-established storm shelter, you may find yourself able to navigate significant financial challenges without derailing your long-term goals. This is an excellent outcome. It means your emergency fund is doing its job, allowing you to weather financial storms without compromising your future plans. The best outcome of a robust storm shelter is a sense of complete financial security. This doesn't mean you'll never face financial challenges again, but it does mean that you can face those challenges with confidence, knowing that you have the resources to handle them. It allows you to take risks or make changes in your life without the paralyzing fear of financial ruin. Of course, like any financial strategy, building and maintaining a storm shelter comes with potential pitfalls. One common issue is complacency after reaching the initial savings goal. It's easy to think, I've saved six months of expenses, I'm set for life. But as your financial situation evolves, so too should your emergency fund. The fix for this is to regularly reassess and set new savings targets as your circumstances change. Another potential issue is oversaving in the emergency fund at the expense of growth investments. While having a robust emergency fund is crucial, it's also important to balance this with investments that can help grow your wealth over time. The key is to find the right balance between security and growth, ensuring that your emergency fund is sufficient without hindering your long-term financial progress. As we conclude this chapter, take a moment to reflect on the power of the storm shelter. You're not just setting aside money for a rainy day, you're building a foundation of financial security that will support all your other financial endeavors. You're creating a buffer that allows you to pursue your goals with confidence, knowing that you're prepared for whatever financial weather may come your way. But as crucial as the storm shelter is, it's not the final piece of the puzzle in your journey to financial independence. In fact, there's another element we need to explore, one that can protect your wealth from a silent 
insidious threat that many people overlook. Are you ready to discover the secret of the silent shield? It's time to learn how to safeguard your financial future against a force that can erode your wealth over time, often without you even realizing it. Chapter 5. The Silent Shield In the realm of personal finance, there exists a force so subtle, so insidious, that many fail to recognize its presence until it's too late. It moves silently, invisibly, yet its effects can be devastating to even the most carefully laid financial plans. This force doesn't announce itself with fanfare or sudden shocks. Instead, it works gradually, eroding the very foundation of your financial security over time. Imagine, if you will, a beautifully crafted wooden boat. Its owner takes great pride in maintaining it, polishing the deck, mending the sails, and ensuring the hull is watertight. Yet, despite all this care, the boat begins to sit lower in the water with each passing year. The change is so gradual that it's barely noticeable at first. But over time, the difference becomes stark. The once proud vessel now struggles to stay afloat, its beauty and functionality compromised by an unseen enemy. This scenario mirrors the challenge we face in our financial lives. The boat represents our wealth and the unseen force causing it to sink. That's what we're here to discuss. It's a phenomenon that affects everyone, regardless of their income level or financial savvy. Yet, with the right knowledge and strategies, we can create a shield to protect ourselves from its effects. But what exactly is this silent threat? And more importantly, how can we guard against it? To understand the nature of this threat, we need to look at the value of money itself. Money at its core is a medium of exchange, a way to store and transfer value. But what happens when the value it represents begins to change? What if the same amount of money buys less and less over time? This is the essence of the silent threat we're facing, inflation. It's the gradual increase in the price of goods and services over time, which results in a decrease in the purchasing power of money. In other words, as inflation rises, each dollar you have becomes worth less in terms of what it can buy. Now, you might be thinking, inflation? That doesn't sound so bad. Prices go up a little each year, but so do wages, right? While it's true that wages often increase to some degree with inflation, the problem lies in the cumulative effect over time. A 2% or 3% annual inflation rate might not seem significant, but over decades it can dramatically reduce the real value of your savings and investments. This is why protecting your wealth from the eroding effects of inflation is crucial for achieving and maintaining financial independence. Without a strategy to combat inflation, you might find yourself working harder and saving more, only to end up with less real wealth than you anticipated. So, how do we create this silent shield to protect ourselves from inflation? The answer lies in a combination of lifestyle choices and smart investment strategies. First, let's consider the power of a modest lifestyle in mitigating the impact of inflation. When you live below your means and avoid unnecessary expenses, you naturally reduce the pressure to spend more as prices rise. This doesn't mean living a life of deprivation. Rather, it's about being intentional with your spending, focusing on what truly brings value to your life. For example, if you're not in the habit of buying the latest gadgets or designer clothes, you're less affected when the prices of these items increase. Your modest lifestyle becomes a shield, protecting you from the full force of inflation's impact. But living modestly is only part of the equation. To truly protect and grow your wealth in the face of inflation, you need to make your money work for you. This is where investing comes into play. Investing in assets that typically outpace inflation is a key strategy for preserving and growing your wealth. Historically, Assets like stocks and real estate have provided returns that exceed the rate of inflation over the long term. By allocating a portion of your wealth to these types of investments, you create a buffer against the eroding effects of rising prices. Now, let's talk about how to apply these concepts in practical terms. One important step is to keep a portion of your investments in inflation-resistant assets. This doesn't mean putting all your money into stocks or real estate. Diversification is still important, but it does mean being strategic about your asset allocation, 
ensuring that your portfolio has the potential to grow faster than inflation. Another crucial practice is to regularly review and adjust your budget to account for inflation. This might involve increasing your savings rate or adjusting your spending in certain categories to maintain your purchasing power. By staying aware of how inflation is affecting your personal finances, you can make proactive decisions to protect your wealth. Avoiding lifestyle inflation is another key component of your silent shield. As your income grows over time, there's often a temptation to increase your spending proportionally. This is known as lifestyle inflation, and it can negate the benefits of earning more. By maintaining modest spending habits, even as your income increases, you can channel that extra money into savings and investments, further strengthening your defense against inflation. Let's explore some practical exercises to help you implement these strategies. Start by analyzing your investment portfolio for inflation protection. Look at the mix of assets you hold and consider whether they have the potential to outpace inflation over the long term. If you're not sure how to do this, don't hesitate to seek advice from a financial professional. Next, take some time to update your budget to reflect current inflation rates. This might involve adjusting your savings goals or reconsidering certain expenses. The key is to ensure that your financial plan remains robust in the face of rising prices. Practicing resistance to lifestyle inflation is another valuable exercise. Try setting spending limits for yourself, even as your income grows. This doesn't mean never enjoying the fruits of your labor, but rather being intentional about how you allocate any increases in your income. As you implement these strategies, you'll likely start to notice some positive outcomes. At a basic level, you may find that inflation has minimal impact on your standard of living. This is a good outcome. It means your silent shield is doing its job, protecting you from the erosive effects of rising prices. An excellent outcome would be wealth growth that outpaces inflation, preserving and enhancing your financial independence. This means that not only are you maintaining your purchasing power, but you're actually increasing it over time. The best outcome of a robust silent shield is a financial portfolio that not only withstands inflation, but thrives in spite of it. This level of protection ensures ongoing prosperity, allowing you to pursue your goals and dreams without the constant worry of your wealth being eroded by rising prices. Of course, like any financial strategy, creating and maintaining a silent shield comes with potential pitfalls. One common issue is misjudging the impact of inflation on different investments. Not all assets respond to inflation in the same way, and what worked in the past may not always work in the future. The fix for this is to diversify your portfolio and seek professional advice when needed. Another potential problem is neglecting to adjust your financial plan for inflation over time. It's easy to set a plan and forget about it, but this can lead to a gradual erosion of wealth. The solution is to schedule regular financial reviews, ensuring that your plan remains robust and effective in the face of changing economic conditions. As we conclude this chapter, take a moment to reflect on the power of the silent shield. You're not just protecting your money from a vague economic concept, you're safeguarding your future, your dreams, and your financial independence. You're creating a buffer that allows your wealth to grow and thrive even as the world around you changes. But as crucial as the silent shield is, it's not the final piece of the puzzle in your journey to financial independence. In fact, there's another element we need to explore, one that can take your financial strategy from defensive to offensive. Are you ready to discover the secret of the future harvest? It's time to learn how to not just protect your wealth, but to grow it exponentially planting the seeds today for a bountiful financial future tomorrow. Chapter 6, Future Harvest Imagine for a moment that you're standing at the edge of a vast, empty field. The soil beneath your feet is rich and full of potential, but as far as the eye can see, there's nothing growing. Now, picture yourself with a handful of seeds. These aren't just any seeds. They represent your financial resources, your hard-earned money, your time, your energy. What you do with these seeds will determine the landscape of your financial future. 
This field is your financial future, and those seeds are the investments you make today. But how do you know which seeds to plant? Where should you sow them? And how do you nurture them to ensure a bountiful harvest in the years to come? Welcome to the concept of future harvest, a strategy that goes beyond mere saving or conservative investing. It's about cultivating a financial portfolio that doesn't just grow, but thrives, providing you with abundance and security for years to come. But why is this approach so crucial for achieving financial independence? The answer lies in the nature of wealth building itself. While saving is important, it's rarely enough on its own to create true financial freedom. To achieve that, you need your money to work for you, to multiply and grow over time. Think about it this way. If you plant a single seed and it grows into a plant that produces a hundred seeds, you've multiplied your initial investment a hundredfold. Now imagine doing that year after year, reinvesting a portion of each harvest. That's the power of strategic investing. It's about planting the right seeds in the right places and nurturing them for maximum growth. The theory behind Future Harvest is both simple and profound. By directing funds away from unnecessary spending and toward carefully chosen investments, you can cultivate a portfolio that grows steadily over time. It's about making your money work as hard as you do, turning your financial resources into a self-perpetuating engine of growth. But it's not just about growth, it's also about protection. Just as a farmer wouldn't put all their seeds in one corner of the field, wise investors don't put all their money in one type of investment. Diversification across various asset classes is key to protecting against market volatility and enhancing overall returns. It's like planting different crops that thrive under different conditions. When one struggles, another may flourish, providing stability to your overall harvest. So, how can we apply these concepts in practical terms? The first step is to develop an investment strategy that aligns with your long-term financial goals. This isn't about chasing the latest hot stock tip or trying to time the market. Instead, it's about creating a plan that reflects your unique situation risk tolerance, and financial aspirations. For some, this might mean focusing on low-cost index funds that provide broad market exposure. For others, it could involve a mix of stocks, bonds, and real estate investments. The key is to choose investments that have the potential for long-term growth and align with your personal financial goals. Once you've developed your strategy, the next crucial step is to automate your contributions to your investment accounts. This ensures consistent growth and takes advantage of a powerful concept known as dollar cost averaging. By investing regularly, regardless of market conditions, you avoid the pitfalls of trying to time the market and instead benefit from its long-term upward trend. Regular review and rebalancing of your portfolio is another essential practice. As different investments grow at different rates, your asset allocation can shift over time. Rebalancing helps maintain your desired level of risk and return potential. Think of it as pruning and tending to your financial garden, ensuring that no single plant overshadows the others. Now, let's explore some practical exercises to help you implement these strategies. Start by creating a diversified investment plan. This doesn't have to be complex. Even a simple mix of low-cost index funds covering different asset classes can provide a solid foundation. The key is to spread your investments across different types of assets to balance risk and potential return. Next, set up automatic contributions to your investment accounts. This could be a percentage of your paycheck directed to a 401k or regular transfers to a brokerage account. The amount matters less than the consistency. Even small, regular investments can grow significantly over time thanks to the power of compound interest. Finally. Commit to conducting quarterly portfolio reviews. This is your chance to check in on your investments, ensure they're still aligned with your goals, and make any necessary adjustments. It's like walking through your financial field, checking on the health of your crops, and making decisions about what needs attention. As you implement these strategies, you'll likely start to notice some positive outcomes. At a basic level, you should see a steady increase in your net worth through disciplined, well-managed investments. 
This is a good outcome. It means your future harvest strategy is taking root and beginning to bear fruit. An excellent outcome would be the achievement of significant financial milestones. Perhaps you're able to put a down payment on a house earlier than expected or fully fund your child's education account. Maybe you reach your retirement savings goal ahead of schedule. These milestones represent tangible proof that your investment strategy is working, providing you with options and opportunities you might not have had otherwise. The best outcome of a robust future harvest strategy is complete financial independence. This is the point where your investment returns fully support your lifestyle, freeing you from the need to work for income. Imagine waking up each day knowing that your financial needs are taken care of, allowing you to pursue your passions and interests without financial constraints. This is the ultimate harvest, a life of freedom and abundance grown from the seeds you planted years before. Of course, like any financial strategy, future harvest comes with potential pitfalls. One common issue is overinvesting in high-risk assets without proper diversification. The allure of high returns can sometimes lead investors to take on more risk than is prudent. The fix for this is to regularly review your risk tolerance and adjust your portfolio accordingly. Remember, the goal is steady, long-term growth, not short-term gains at the expense of security. Another potential problem is failing to adapt your investment strategy as your financial situation evolves. What works for you in your 20s may not be appropriate in your 40s or 60s. The solution is to stay informed about market trends and seek professional advice when needed. Your investment strategy should grow and change with you, adapting to your changing needs and circumstances over time. As we conclude this chapter, take a moment to reflect on the power of future harvest. You're not just saving money or making a few investments. You're cultivating a financial ecosystem that has the potential to support and sustain you for years to come. You're planting the seeds today for a bountiful and secure financial future. But as powerful as future harvest is, it's not the final destination on your journey to financial independence. In fact, there's another level of financial freedom we've yet to explore, one that goes beyond mere security to offer true liberation. Are you ready to discover the secret of the great escape? It's time to learn how to break free from financial constraints and step into a life of true abundance and possibility. Chapter 7, The Great Escape Imagine waking up on a Monday morning. The sun is peeking through your curtains, birds are chirping outside your window, and you feel well-rested and content. But there's something different about this Monday. You don't have to rush to get ready for work. You don't have to battle traffic or face a day filled with meetings and deadlines. Instead, you have the entire day stretching before you, full of possibilities. What would you do with such a day? More importantly, how would it feel to have every day be like this? This scenario might sound like a dream, a far-off fantasy reserved for the ultra-wealthy or the extremely lucky. But what if I told you that this kind of freedom is within your reach? What if there was a way to break free from the constraints of the traditional work-life paradigm and truly live life on your own terms? Welcome to the concept of the great escape. But before you start picturing elaborate tunnels or daring midnight runs, let me clarify. The escape we're talking about isn't from a physical prison, but from the invisible chains of financial dependency that bind so many of us to jobs we don't love and lifestyles that don't fulfill us. The Great Escape is about achieving true financial independence. It's about reaching a point where work becomes a choice rather than a necessity, where your time and your resources are truly your own to allocate as you see fit. But why is this so important? Why should we strive for this level of financial freedom? The answer lies in the nature of life itself. Time is our most precious resource, the one thing we can never get more of, no matter how hard we work or how much we earn. Financial independence gives us the power to reclaim our time, to spend it on the things that truly matter to us, whether that's family, hobbies, travel, or personal growth. Moreover, Financial independence provides a level of security and peace of mind that's hard to achieve any other way. 
It's the difference between living paycheck to paycheck, always worried about unexpected expenses, and living with the confidence that your financial needs are taken care of, come what may. But how do we achieve this seemingly elusive state of financial nirvana? The theory behind The Great Escape is both simple and challenging. It's achieved through a combination of disciplined saving, smart investing, and living within your means. But more than that, it requires a fundamental shift in mindset. Most of us are conditioned from an early age to think in terms of earning and spending. We work to earn money, and then we spend that money on our needs and wants. The path to financial independence requires us to break this cycle. Instead of thinking in terms of income and expenses, we need to start thinking about building a self-sustaining wealth that can support our desired lifestyle indefinitely. This mindset shift is crucial because it changes how we view money and its role in our lives. Instead of seeing money as something to be earned and spent, we start to see it as a tool for creating freedom and opportunity. Every dollar saved and invested becomes a step towards independence, a little worker that goes out into the world to earn more dollars on our behalf. So how can we apply these concepts in practical terms? The first step is to set clear goals for financial independence. This might be a target net worth, or it could be a specific level of passive income that would cover your living expenses. The key is to have a concrete number to aim for, a finish line for your financial race. Once you have your goal, the next step is to prioritize savings and investments that contribute directly to that goal. This might mean cutting back on unnecessary expenses, finding ways to increase your income, or both. Remember, every dollar saved and invested is a soldier in your financial independence army. Developing multiple streams of income is another crucial strategy. This could involve starting a side business, investing in rental properties, or creating passive income through investments. The goal is to reduce your dependency on any single source of income, making your financial situation more robust and resilient. Now, let's explore some practical exercises to help you implement these strategies. Start by calculating your financial independence number. This is the amount of wealth you'd need to accumulate to support your desired lifestyle indefinitely. There are various formulas for this, but a common rule of thumb is to multiply your annual expenses by 25. This gives you a target nest egg that could theoretically sustain you indefinitely, assuming a 4% annual withdrawal rate. Next, explore and develop additional income streams. This doesn't have to mean taking on another job. It could be as simple as starting a blog, selling handmade items online, or investing in dividend-paying stocks. The key is to find ways to earn money that don't require your direct ongoing labor. Finally, create a detailed plan for achieving financial independence. This should include specific milestones, timelines, and action steps. Having a clear roadmap can help keep you motivated and on track, even when the journey gets challenging. As you implement these strategies, you'll likely start to notice some positive outcomes. At a basic level, you might find that you're able to reduce your work hours or take extended breaks without financial stress. This is a good outcome. It means you're starting to break free from the paycheck to paycheck cycle and gain more control over your time. An excellent outcome would be the freedom to pursue your passions, hobbies, or volunteer work, knowing that your finances are secure. Imagine being able to take a year off to travel the world or to dedicate yourself full-time to a cause you care about without worrying about how you'll pay the bills. This level of freedom can be truly transformative, allowing you to live a life aligned with your values and interests. The best outcome of The Great Escape is complete financial independence, where work truly becomes a choice rather than a necessity. This doesn't mean you'll never work again. Many financially independent people choose to continue working in some capacity. The difference is that they work because they want to, not because they have to. This shift can dramatically change your relationship with work, allowing you to pursue only those opportunities that truly excite and fulfill you. Of course, like any major life change, the great escape comes with potential pitfalls. 
One common issue is underestimating the amount needed for true financial independence. It's easy to be overly optimistic about how much you'll need, especially if you're young and healthy. The fix for this is to regularly review and adjust your financial goals, taking into account factors like inflation, healthcare costs, and potential changes in your lifestyle. Another potential problem is over-reliance on a single income stream, even if it's a passive one. This can leave you vulnerable to financial disruptions if that income source dries up. The solution is to diversify your income sources, just as you would diversify an investment portfolio. This might mean having a mix of rental income, dividend stocks, and a small business, for example. As we conclude this chapter, take a moment to imagine what your great escape might look like. Picture yourself free from financial worries, able to spend your time and energy on the things that truly matter to you. This isn't just a dream. It's achievable reality if you're willing to put in the work and make the necessary changes. But as liberating as The Great Escape is, there's one more aspect of financial freedom we need to explore. It's an approach that doesn't just give you freedom in the present, but extends that freedom far into the future. Are you ready to discover the secret of the open road? It's time to learn how to create a financial future that's not just secure, but filled with endless possibilities and choices. Chapter 8, Open Road. Picture yourself standing at a crossroads. Behind you lies the familiar path you've traveled for years, the daily commute, the nine to five grind, the constant balancing act between work and life. Ahead of you stretches an open road, winding off into the distance, full of possibility and promise. This road represents your future, but not just any future. It's a future where you're in the driver's seat, where you decide the destination and the pace of the journey. Welcome to the concept of the open road. But before you start packing your bags for a never-ending road trip, let's clarify what we mean. The open road we're talking about isn't just about travel or leisure. It's about achieving a level of financial flexibility that allows you to retire on your own terms, whether that's early, late, or somewhere in between. But why is this kind of flexibility so important? Why should we strive for this level of control over our retirement? The answer lies in the nature of life itself. We all have unique dreams, goals, and circumstances. The traditional notion of retirement, working until 65 and then suddenly stopping, doesn't fit everyone's needs or desires. Some of us might want to retire early to pursue a passion project. Others might prefer to gradually reduce their work hours over time. And still others might want to work well past the traditional retirement age because they love what they do. The open road is about creating options for yourself. It's about building a financial foundation that gives you the freedom to choose how you want to spend your later years, rather than having that decision dictated by financial necessity. But how do we achieve this seemingly elusive state of retirement flexibility? The theory behind the open road is both simple and powerful. It's built on two main pillars, a modest lifestyle and strategic financial planning. Living modestly doesn't mean depriving yourself. It's about being intentional with your spending, focusing on what truly brings value to your life, and avoiding the trap of lifestyle inflation. By keeping your expenses in check, you create a gap between your income and your spending. This gap becomes your ticket to flexibility. Strategic financial planning, on the other hand, is about making the most of the resources you have. It involves maximizing your retirement contributions, exploring different investment strategies, and planning for various scenarios. By combining these two approaches, you create a financial cushion that provides freedom rather than obligation. So, how can we apply these concepts in practical terms? The first step is to maximize contributions to retirement accounts from the start of your career. This might mean tightening your belt in other areas, but the payoff can be enormous. Thanks to the power of compound interest, every dollar you save in your 20s and 30s can grow into many more dollars by the time you reach retirement age. Next, consider exploring alternative retirement strategies. The idea of semi-retirement or phased retirement is gaining popularity. 
This could involve reducing your work hours gradually over time or transitioning to part-time or consulting work in your field. These approaches can provide a smoother transition into retirement and allow you to continue earning income while enjoying more free time. Planning for a retirement lifestyle that is both fulfilling and financially sustainable is another crucial step. This involves thinking deeply about what you want your retirement to look like. Do you want to travel, volunteer, start a business? Your retirement plan should align with these goals while ensuring that your resources can support them over the long term. Now, let's explore some practical exercises to help you implement these strategies. Start by calculating your retirement needs and setting a savings target. This involves estimating your expected expenses in retirement and determining how much you need to save to support that lifestyle. Remember, this isn't a one-time calculation. You should revisit and adjust this number regularly as your circumstances and goals change. Next, research and plan for alternative retirement options. This could involve talking to people who have pursued non-traditional retirement paths, reading books on the subject, or consulting with a financial advisor who specializes in retirement planning. The key is to expand your understanding of what retirement can look like and how you can shape it to fit your desires. Developing a retirement budget that aligns with your lifestyle goals is another valuable exercise. This isn't about restricting yourself, but about ensuring that your financial resources align with your vision for retirement. It's a way of test driving your retirement plan to see if it's realistic and sustainable. As you implement these strategies, you'll likely start to notice some positive outcomes. At a basic level, you might find that you're on track to retire at a traditional age with enough resources to maintain your desired lifestyle. This is a good outcome. It means you're ahead of many of your peers and have laid a solid foundation for your future. An excellent outcome would be the option to retire early or take career breaks without compromising your financial security. Imagine being able to take a year off in your 50s to travel the world, knowing that your retirement plan is still on track. Or picture yourself retiring at 55 instead of 65, with the confidence that your resources will last. The best outcome of the open road strategy is total retirement flexibility. This means having the financial resources and the confidence to retire or work entirely on your own terms. You might choose to quit your corporate job at 50 to start a nonprofit, or you might decide to work part time into your 70s because you love what you do. The key is that these are choices driven by your desires and goals, not by financial necessity. Of course, like any long term plan, the open road strategy comes with potential pitfalls. One common issue is underestimating retirement expenses, which can lead to a less comfortable retirement than you'd hoped for. The fix for this is to regularly review and adjust your retirement plan. Be realistic about your expenses and don't forget to factor in things like inflation and potential lifestyle changes. Another potential problem is neglecting healthcare costs or other unforeseen expenses that could impact your retirement plans. Healthcare, in particular, can be a significant expense in retirement. The solution is to include a healthcare savings plan in your retirement strategy. This might involve setting aside extra funds specifically for healthcare or exploring long term care insurance options. As we conclude this chapter, take a moment to imagine your own open road. Picture yourself with the freedom to shape your later years exactly as you wish, unbounded by financial constraints. This isn't just a dream. It's an achievable reality if you're willing to plan ahead and make smart financial choices. But as liberating as the open road is, there's one more piece of the puzzle we need to explore. It's a concept that ties together everything we've discussed so far, bringing clarity to your financial journey and illuminating the path ahead. Are you ready to discover the secret of the quiet victory? It's time to understand how all these strategies come together to create a life of true prosperity and fulfillment. Chapter 9, The Quiet Victory As we reach the final chapter of our journey, it's time to pause and reflect on the path we've traveled together. We've explored the hidden key to prosperity, cleared the clutter from our financial lives, 
learned to pace ourselves for the long haul, built a shelter against financial storms, and created a shield against the silent threat of inflation. We've sown the seeds for a bountiful future harvest, planned our great escape from financial constraints, and envisioned an open road of retirement flexibility. But what does it all mean? What is the ultimate destination of this financial odyssey we've undertaken? Welcome to the concept of the quiet victory. This isn't about crossing a finish line with fanfare and applause. It's not about having the biggest house or the flashiest car. The quiet victory is something far more profound and lasting. It's about achieving a state of financial well-being that permeates every aspect of your life, bringing peace, freedom, and security in its wake. The quiet victory is the culmination of everything we've discussed in this book. It's the realization that true prosperity isn't about outward displays of wealth, but about living a life that's deeply aligned with your values and aspirations. It's about waking up each day with a sense of financial security, knowing that you have the resources to weather any storm and the freedom to pursue what truly matters to you. But how does what you've learned in this book empower you to achieve this quiet victory? The knowledge and tools you've gained are like a set of keys, each unlocking a different aspect of financial mastery. You now understand how to live below your means without feeling deprived, how to invest wisely for the long term, and how to protect your wealth from both visible and invisible threats. This empowerment extends beyond just your personal finances. One of the most profound impacts of achieving financial stability is how it can transform your relationships. Financial stress is one of the leading causes of tension in relationships, whether with a partner, family members, or friends. By implementing the strategies in this book, you're not just securing your own financial future. You're creating a foundation of stability that can strengthen all your relationships. Imagine being able to have open, honest conversations about money without fear or anxiety. Picture being able to work towards shared financial goals with your partner, or being in a position to help family members in need without jeopardizing your own financial security. This is part of the quiet victory, the ability to use your financial stability as a tool for nurturing and strengthening your most important relationships. Now, let's talk about what you'll be able to achieve that you couldn't before. With the knowledge and strategies you've gained, financial milestones that once seemed out of reach become attainable goals. Whether it's buying a home, starting a business, funding your children's education, or retiring early, you now have the tools to approach these goals with confidence and clarity. But perhaps even more importantly, you'll be able to achieve a level of financial peace of mind that may have seemed impossible before. The constant background worry about money that plagues so many people can fade away, replaced by a quiet confidence in your financial future. As you continue to practice the concepts in this book, you'll likely find that they become second nature. The principles of modest living, strategic investing, and long-term planning will become ingrained in your daily life. This is where the real magic happens. As these habits become automatic, you'll find yourself achieving greater prosperity with less and less conscious effort. This is the power of compounding applied not just to your investments, but to your financial habits and knowledge. Just as compound interest can turn small, regular investments into significant wealth over time, the consistent application of these financial principles can lead to exponential growth in your financial well-being. Why is this quiet victory so important? Because it represents a fundamental shift in how we think about wealth and success. In a world that often equates prosperity with conspicuous consumption and outward displays of affluence, the quiet victory offers a different path. It's a path that leads to true financial freedom, not just the ability to buy whatever you want, but the freedom from financial worry and the ability to live life on your own terms. The theory behind this approach is simple yet profound. True prosperity is not about what you own or how much money you have in the bank. It's about the peace, freedom, and security that come from living a life aligned with your values. It's about having the resources to weather financial storms without panic, 
the freedom to pursue your passions without constraint, and the security to face the future with confidence. Modest living, as we've explored throughout this book, is not about deprivation. It's a lifelong strategy that offers rewards far greater than those seen on the surface. By focusing on what truly matters and letting go of the need for constant material acquisition, you create space in your life for genuine fulfillment and joy. As we conclude this journey together, I want you to take a moment to envision your own quiet victory. Picture yourself 5, 10, or 20 years from now having consistently applied the principles we've discussed. See yourself waking up each day with a sense of financial peace, free from money worries. Imagine the freedom to pursue your passions, to spend time with loved ones, to contribute to causes you care about, all without constantly checking your bank balance or worrying about the next paycheck. This is the ultimate payoff of the journey we've undertaken together. It's not just about having more money. It's about having a richer, more fulfilling life in every sense. It's about achieving a level of financial mastery that allows you to focus on what truly matters, to live authentically, and to make a positive impact on the world around you. The quiet victory is within your reach. With the knowledge you've gained and the strategies you've learned, you have everything you need to start your journey towards true financial freedom. Remember, this isn't a race or a competition. It's a personal journey, one that will unfold at its own pace as you consistently apply these principles. As you apply these principles, you'll notice a profound shift in your approach to life and decision-making. But this is just the beginning. Have you ever wondered why some people seem to effortlessly navigate complex situations while others struggle? There's a hidden skill that separates true masters of personal growth from the rest. It's a perspective that can revolutionize your understanding of the world and your place in it. Curious about what this game-changing ability might be? Discover the answer in the audiobook, Systems Thinking Mastery, Transform Your Mindset for Ultimate Personal Growth. Tap the center of the video now to continue your transformation journey.